I'm Neil here at the Leoma headquarters. I'm here to go through your rental type S unboxing. So to start we've got the head unit for the type S with the soft bumper. The USB-C cable for your type S. The USB-A cable for your sensors. Your sensors and the charger. The sensor clips. The multi-sport adapter for your Garmin mount. Sensor adhesives. And don't forget your tape measure. So now we'll go through turning on your Type S. Uh, you'll press this button here on the side to power it on. And you'll open up the Leomo app. Once that starts up, we'll make sure that your sensors are paired. And now we'll go through the sensor placement on your body. Uh, each sensor has a corresponding color to where it's being placed on your body. Uh, you can view that in the, uh, the Type S. Uh, they also have uh, stickers on the back that indicate where they're being placed. Uh, left foot, right foot, uh, pelvis, left thigh, and right thigh. And now I'll take you through uh, how to place the sensor clips on your feet. Uh, you'll want to make sure that the sensor clips are uh, strapped into your shoe. And then when you slide the sensor into the clip, you'll want to make sure that the LED is facing away from you. And now I'll take you through how to place the sensors on your thighs. You'll want to use some of the adhesives from your kit. Place the adhesive onto the sensor. And then place the sensor about four inches uh, back from your knee. And you want to make sure that the sensors are fairly well, uh, or fairly even with each other. And for tests one, two, and three, you'll want to make sure that the sensors are in the same location. And the final one you'll place on your pelvis. And once you have all your sensors on, you'll want to double check in the Leomo app uh, to make sure that all the sensors are paired in the And if your sensors aren't showing in the app, uh, you can reset them with two troubleshooting methods. Uh, we can slide them in and out of the charger. Or with a small paper clip, you can press this small button on the back to reset the sensor. And now I'll take you through how to take some measurements for your seat post type. Uh, to start, you'll want to make sure that you're measuring from the same position every time. So I might suggest marking uh, your saddle with a piece of tape or just a, a marker that you can reference for every test. Uh, and then you want to take that measurement all the way down to the center of your bottom bracket or the center hole here. Uh, 
And next you'll have to know the fore and aft measurements for your saddle to move your saddle forward and back. Most saddles have uh, small measurement lines on the rails, so you'll want to be extra careful when taking those measurements there. And now you're ready to start uh, with your test. Just follow the instructions that you received in your email and you're ready to go.